to hang out. We about to chill. We about to Netflix and chill. No, boo. Mm -mm. You gotta pay for all this. In Palmdale. She's in Palmdale, everybody. <laughs> My background. She's in. Uh, we're coming on here tonight to do a relationship video. Relationship video? Yeah, relationship okay. video. Okay, relationships 101. We're going to answer some, um, I think they're common questions about relationships between. Interesting questions. Yeah, the guys and the gals. So, guy <laughs> Where the heck did it go? Oh, okay, it's right here. Okay, so we have five questions, and we haven't heard each other's answers yet, so this will be interesting, but we're both going to answer each question. Okay, so let's jump into it. The first one is, should guys always pay for the first date? You want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Okay, you, uh, okay, I don't think they need to pay for the first date. I feel like it could be equal. Yeah, but I'm kind of afraid to say that because you know how they say the way you enter a relationship Girl. sets the tone for the relationship. Say it again. No, wait. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> thinking well maybe he should I mean cuz you gotta make him work for it but I gotta be honest I didn't my first date with my fiance we went half so but it turned out all right so what do you think um okay so I'm 50 50 mm -hmm. I feel like Okay, this is 2016, so everybody's different. A lot of people are getting away from the standard. A lot of people are getting away from traditions. So a lot of times you have girls asking guys out for the on the first date. So I feel like if the guy, the girl asks the guy out, then it's kind of up in the air as far as like who should pay for it because she asks him. But if the guy asks the girl out on the date, and he has intentions of like really being with her and this is something that he think it could go far, I definitely feel like the guy should pay for the very first date. Yeah, that makes sense. Depending on his mindset. Mm -hmm. Now, if you guys are just hanging out, cause there's a difference between a date and hanging out. If you guys are just hanging out and it's just like, he doesn't really know where he wants this to go. You don't really know where you want this to go. You guys are hanging out. Then you guys can pay for yourselves. It's not such a big deal. But if it's just like we're talking, we're courting, and this is probably going somewhere, I have a real interest for this woman, then pay for the first date. Show her just how interested you are in her versus we about to kick it. Mm -hmm. We about to hang out. We about to chill. We about to Netflix and chill. No, boo. Mm -mm. You got to pay for all this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's the first question. Um, second question is, can guys and girls just be friends? I don't like this question. <laughs> Should I come? Yes, you can go first. Okay. Alright, guys and Ooh, girls I just got mad, friends. girl. Oh, God. <laughs> um, if you are in a serious relationship, whether it's marriage, um, boyfriend and girlfriend, or engaged, I do not feel like guys and girls should be friends. And it depends on the extent of your friendship. So, if you're talking about... I'm about to call you on the phone and have a conversation with you. I'm about to FaceTime you. I'm about to text you. Ooh, We're about to girl. actually go somewhere and hang out. No. I feel like that's disrespectful to your relationship. <laughs> yeah, no. I, and you I know also you feel, are. Oh, my God. I, <laughs> I also feel like it has to do with your relationship. Everybody is different. Some people... 
they are okay with their partner mm -hmm. having friends with opposite sex, especially if that person has been their friend for a long time, long before they had a relationship with that person. Yeah, so it's see, just that's like, oh well, tricky. we grew up together. This so person is like my brother. This that? person is like my sister. Um, I feel like there needs to be limitations to it. What's so, your relationship? Within their relationship. <clears throat> like, whatever relationship... Okay, let's say, if I say my boyfriend. Whatever relationship my boyfriend had with this girl before me is not going to be the same once me and him get into the serious phase of our relationship. So maybe when you were single, she could call you at 3 in the morning and you guys could just talk. Maybe if she didn't have nobody to go to the movies, well, you could just go with her. You guys are not going to be doing those same things once we're in a serious relationship. So there needs to be limitations to it. Like she said, I'll piggyback off that. Um, yeah, me and her need to have some type of relationship. And then there needs to be limitations. So there are certain times that it's not okay for you to call him. There are certain times where it's not okay for you to text him. But you know, friends of the opposite sex. It should be limitations there. Yeah, your limitations can be whatever you guys are comfortable with. But I don't want the relationship to be like a prison. But I don't know, but you said prison. What? Yes. <laughs> um, no, yeah, it doesn't have, I think it's whatever you are comfortable with. Yeah, I don't wanna keep going with this question, but like I see other some people, um, like my my cousin who's married, she trusts her husband, uh, you know, hundred percent. He has guy uh, girls who are friends, and she has guys who are friends, mm -hmm. and they can keep it, you know, level headed. They don't think anything is going on. So everybody is different. Yeah. So it's just about what you're comfortable with. What's your whatever your comfort level is. But, Bitch, I will come for you. <laughs> <laughs> we can cut that out. <laughs> um, okay, how often should you and your significant other have date night? Date night. I love date night. I don't think date night is necessary. <laughs> She's the man in her relationship. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like maybe like here and there, like maybe twice a month. I don't feel like date night. Like once you guys are over that like honeymoon stage, I feel like it's not necessary. <laughs> Cause y'all see each other all the time. So every day is a date. How you feel? <laughs> um, I definitely feel like date night is important to the relationship. How often, I think, depends on you guys because everybody has different lifestyles. Some people have kids, some people have Ooh. crazy schedules, some people are in school and work. Um, it just depends on what you have going on. Um, but I do think that date night is important. Um, but if you are somebody who has like mostly an open schedule, like you and your partner have weekends off, then I would say every other weekend or even possibly every weekend. Now, date night can be anything you want it to be. It doesn't have to always be, we're about to go over here to this fancy restaurant and spend all this money or go mm -hmm. to the movies or do this. Or it can be, up. yeah, or dress up. It can be something as simple as we're gonna go to the beach together or we're gonna go to the freaking, um. what am I thinking of? I don't know, it could be- Red Robin. <laughs> <laughs> of course she would um but yeah it can be like little simple things maybe just like going bowling or hanging out even oh, if you guys fun. um decide to go to like a baseball game together or like i said going for like a walk on the beach like during the sunset or something it doesn't have to always be something to where you're spending like a significant amount of money or like she said you're dressing up and putting all this effort i do think those dates are important because you give your partner a chance to see you at your best like yeah we see each other every day but you see me in my scarf you see me before i took my shower like you see me in my rough stage so it's like i want you to see me in my most beautiful state Yo, as well. Is this just a, like me getting advice? Cause I seriously, <laughs> I never looked at it that way. And now I'm like, well maybe it is a good, a good idea to have a date night and dress up. I think 
think so. Mm. You don't have to do it all the time, but that's how I think of it. It's like, you know, you want to show that other person that I care about you enough to put in that extra effort to look good for you. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, day night is important twice um twice a month or once a week, something simple, and then maybe like one big day night a month. That's so that cute. She just told y'all that she don't care about day night. I, I don't care she's about it. I don't care, mm -hmm. but I didn't think of it like that way. So yeah, it just depends. Even like, okay, Christmas is coming up um, very, very soon. So if you're in the LA area, you know that down there um, where the Grove is, mm -hmm. they make it really pretty with all the lights and stuff. Something as simple as that can be date night. Like going down there, getting freaking Starbucks, and just like walking around. Even if you guys don't buy anything, being in that atmosphere is really pretty. It's a lot of couples out at that time. It could be something small as that. That's so sweet. <laughs> Girl, and it's cheap it's not like you want to spend a bunch of money but it's about the time that you guys spend together mm. i think whoever you're with me personally i like to experience a lot of different things with the person that i'm with mm -hmm. so just for those memories i'm gonna end it there because i could go off on a tangent no, but, that's so but i really sweet. like doing that you know Oh my goodness, I wish I was that way. Yeah, I think I might. <laughs> I cannot deal with her. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Number four, how much of yourself should you be willing to give up or change for the sake of the relationship to please the other person? <sighs> I'm going to have to drink on this. I'm going to tap my throat for the third eye. <laughs> I just have something short to say. And I'm pretty sure she's going to have something more. <laughs> I advise everybody, every woman, that when they enter a relationship, stay who you are. Okay? Don't change for no man, from nobody. If you like wear makeup, you like wear weaves. I don't know, I guess appearance-wise, I don't know what you mean. Oh, I mean... But, okay, okay. Appearance-wise, you should... Stay who you are. Don't change for anybody just to please them. But I do think it's some things that you should compromise on. Obviously, when you get in a, get into a relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying, like, if he's telling you, like, being too controlling and being like, oh, you can't wear weeds. You can't wear, like she said, colored nail polish. <laughs> If you guys haven't watched my story time, I will link it in the description of, below about this crazy ex-fiance, y'all. Like she said, he didn't want me to wear. He you wanted me to wear just wear skinny clear. Skinny jeans, girl. Skinny jeans, y'all. Don't skinny change jeans. who you are, man. Because you're going to be trying to do all of this to change yourself for a person. You're going to lose yourself. You're going to be like, who am That's I? I don't real. know my style. I don't know who I am anymore. You know why? Cause you're trying to change for this person and this nigga ain't changing at all. <laughs> <laughs> so just stay yourself. But I do think like you do have to be respectful of your relationship. Like, oh, okay, I'm gonna say one more and she could take it over. <laughs> like, um, wearing clothes like that are too revealing maybe. Mm -hmm. Be respectful of your man in yourself. Cause you get to a certain age. You shouldn't have all that out anyway. Mm -hmm. So that I would say. Yeah. I kind of greasy on here. <laughs> right. Um, let me see. How much of yourself does she change? Um, I agree with a lot of what she said. Uh, you have to. To me, I feel like when you're in a relationship, you have to make sure you're happy first before you can make anybody else happy. Like it literally starts with you. So if everything that you're doing is for somebody else and you forget about you, then it's like you can't even take care of the relationship because you haven't taken care of yourself. So as far as changing things, I feel like compromise. Obviously other issues, like if you're a selfish person or if you're someone who doesn't necessarily like look out for the other person and mm. arguing and stuff like that, I feel like, yes, that's a compromise. Those are things that need to change. And 
I feel like in a relationship, you're growing. So I do think you're going to constantly be changing. If you're with somebody for 10 years, chances are you're not the same person you were yeah. year one that you are year 10. Hopefully you're not. And hopefully it's for the better because you guys are growing together. You guys are changing and fixing things. You guys are maturing more. As far as like, I don't want you to wear your hair a certain type of way. Like if you decided you wanted to go natural, he said, well, I don't like natural hair. Or... <laughs> <laughs> if you're someone that likes makeup and he doesn't like makeup or you like long nails and he doesn't like long nails one thing I will say is I feel like even with that you can try to meet the person halfway as far as accommodating them on certain occasions so if you're somebody who um maybe you like to wear weaves all the time and he doesn't like weaves maybe like for his birthday or anniversary, you can take the weave out just to please him during that time. Or if he likes, you know, French tip nails, that's just what he likes. Every now and then get those, let him know, hey, you know, I did think about you. Because there are going to be things that you want him to do that he's not necessarily going to like. That is like, hmm, I like when you get your hair cut this certain type of way. Or I like when you wear these certain type of clothes. So it's like, you're going to want him to randomly do those things for you. To make you feel like, okay, damn, he is listening to me. He does care about what I like. But doing a whole full 180, like, don't wear this, don't wear that, don't do this. And it's all just because that's not what this person likes. It's not even something real like, I don't want you showing your ass crack. It's just, I don't want you wearing red lipstick. Because I said so. You're not my daddy, bro. I don't like it. Like, no, 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 no. You're not my father. At all. My father got one of those. <laughs> so, he didn't tell me what to wear. So. Right. So I definitely don't need you stepping in doing that. So I feel like it depends and it's a balance. And it depends just on what it is. But don't give up so much that, like she said, you forget who you are. Because trying to find that person that you lost, you're probably never going to be able to get that person back. You're going to have to recreate yourself. Okay, <laughs> moving on. The next question is, how soon should you introduce your partner to your family? Girl, this whole video is making me upset. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I'll go first. I say introduce your significant other to your family when you guys have a solid foundation. Yes. Family, now when I say family, I say whoever is important to you. I'm talking about mom, dad. Maybe you're really close to your grandma, so mom, dad, grandma. Or maybe you were raised by your auntie, so you look at her like your mom. Those significant core people, and then after that, of course, it's like siblings and stuff like that. Other people, they'll trickle in here and there. They're not as important, it sounds so mean, as like, you know, mom and dad. So I think you should introduce your significant other to them once you guys have a strong foundation because you don't want to just be bringing some new guy home or some new girl home Each every time. single time you think you didn't found love. <laughs> they can't even keep up with the girl name or the guy's right. name because was it Brittany just here two weeks ago? <laughs> what is going on now? Ashley here. So I think if you guys have a solid foundation, you guys know where this is going. Parents like to see stability yeah they like you to come with it with a plan mm -hmm. like listen here this is what we gonna do not just oh this is casual mm -hmm. we're just hanging out especially if you're a daughter yeah I'm trying to that's bring. those are the wrong words to Ooh. use with them so with that being said um i think once you're on solid ground and you guys pretty much know the direction of your relationship and where it's going you can bring your family into that because guess what if family doesn't like them they will try to destroy y'all. That's just not with family. That's with everybody. True. So, uh, but I feel like it counts more when it's your family. Family. Because if it's coworkers or trifling ass friends that's not really your friends, you're going to be like, whatever, bitch. I'll let your ass go. I ain't talking no more. But you can't say that to your mama and your daddy. No. Well, you can, but it's wrong. Yeah, they might slap you. Mm hmm So, therefore, um... I think once you guys have a solid foundation, once you guys have worked through, you know, the kinks and you guys are good, then you can come to them as a team, a strong team. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I agree. And be like, mom, become an ally. Join forces with us. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. But that was good. <laughs> no, I agree with everything that she said. The only tip that 
I would I would give basically what she said, but keeping you know your relationships is sacred. You keep everything within you, between you two. Let you guys go through whatever first, create that foundation, and then you'd be like, hey world, this is us. We done been through everything together. You can't tear us apart. Right. So yeah. So the only mm. advice I would give. But I mean everything that she said, of course. I think that was it. Yeah, that was the last question. Okay guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Or found it helpful. Yes. Um, or can relate. <laughs> I'm sure people can relate out there. Should I hope y'all can hear? Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow us on Instagram. Peace.